Welcome back, Crazy Deals and Seals family. I'm finally back in town. In all honesty, I didn't want to come back here, you guys, okay? Just being honest, I did not want to come back here. Florida is so nice. It's beautiful. The people there are so nice. Just really nice people. So we had a great time in Florida. Thank you guys for being patient with the deals videos and not getting the haul videos up on time and all that stuff. I really appreciate you guys. Um, if you, by the way, have not had these, bomb.com, okay? Bomb.com. If you guys missed the deals video that I posted Friday this week, um, I did mention that we raised a little bit over $800 for our April Help a Crazy Deals and Steals family member in need, the one that had the tarp is the wall that needed help with um, supplies for home repairs. Thank you guys so much for donating. You guys have went above and beyond. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I have sent her the funds and she did confirm with me via email that she received the funds and she wanted me to let you guys know that she really appreciates your guys' generosity um, and she is so thankful. She is very, very, everyone is always so thankful. So I did receive a total of $220 to my PO box. So this $220, what I did was I sent her $220 from my personal cash app. So I'll put that up right here. And then I'll just deposit this into my bank account to like pay myself back. Okay. Um, so I sent her two different cash app payments, the 220 that was came to the PO box and then funds raised from our regular cash app. That was of course sent to her through our regular cash app business account. And then I sent her the Venmo funds and then also the PayPal funds. So everything was sent to her. She did confirm that she received all the money. Again, thank you guys so much. And I hate to bug y'all, but we're now in May. Okay. We're in May and to top it off, today's my birthday. Well, you guys are going to see this after Saturday, but Saturday, May 7th was my birthday. Um, so what I'm asking for my birthday, the big, I'm a big girl now, I'm 35. I'm not happy about turning 35, but it is what it is. I'm blessed to be here to see 35 years old. So for my birthday, what I'm asking is everybody to give a dollar to help someone for May. I'm asking everybody to blow up the PayPal cash app in Venmo with a dollar, 50 cents, whatever you guys can do. I'm just asking everybody to donate. So that's what I'm asking for, for my birthday, my 35th birthday. If you guys could help me out with that, that would be amazing. But we're going to run to CVS here in a couple hours. I do also want to let you guys know that I posted a all about CRTs video. It's like 20 minutes long, um, but we took it back to the basics. Like what is a CRT? How do we get them? Where do we print them? How do we send them to our cards? How do we extend the expiration date on CRTs? Can we use expired CRTs? How do we stack CRTs? How do we use percentage off CRTs? Um, all of that. So if you guys need help with CRTs, go watch that video. And if you guys need help with other coupon tips and tricks, I have three videos up so far for that series and they're all in the couponing tips and tricks playlist. So go check those out. We're going to continue on doing this for um, as long as we can. So if you guys have suggestions for next week's tips and tricks video, let me know, of course, down in the comment section below. And happy Mother's Day family. You guys let me know in the comments what your Mother's Day plans are. Happy Mother's Day, everybody. And we're going to run inside CVS right now. Before I forget, Mama Bear, I need you to email me. I got some coupons for you. Please email me. And then also Beth that also sent me a beautiful card. Mama and Beth sent me cards. You guys send me cards. I love these cards that you guys send me. Um, Beth, please email me as well. I keep trying to email you and my email's getting kicked back um, saying non-delivered. So Mama Bear and Beth, both of you guys email me at Stephanie, the at sign, crazy deals and steals spelled out completely crazy deals and steals.com so i got in the store tonight and i ran to the nivea body wash this was the first deal i wanted to look at i had such a hot scenario planned for nivea body wash i looked and i was kind of bummed i'm like oh great so the regular size items are not part of the sale i had my cashier scan it with their little scanner tag to see if it was linked to the extra bucks they are not so what we're going to do it's going to be okay though we're going to go ahead and get these still as a money maker so i'm going to grab two of the nivea larger women's body wash they're 12.99 spend 20 get back a 10 dollar extra buck so just these two body wash without coupons and crts is 25 dollars and 98 cents Wow, we're not paying that. So I'm going to go ahead and use a manufacturer coupon. It's a $4 off two manufacturer coupon. Now this coupon did expire 423. 
you guys know the spiel about expired coupons at CVS. If you don't, go to my couponing tips and tricks playlist and watch the all about expired coupons at CVS video to get some information on that. So we're going to use that coupon. It's from the 327 safe. Then I'm also going to be stacking on here a $4 off $25 body wash CRT. We're left at $17.98. However, I also have a 30% off your next purchase CRT excluding sale items. That would work perfectly with this because look, they're not on sale. They're regular price at $12.99. But remember, did you watch the All About CRTs video? in the couponing tips and tricks playlist. If you didn't, I'm gonna tell you now, those percentage off CRTs come off of your total after all other coupons, CRTs, and extra bucks are applied. So we're not gonna use extra bucks to pay for this total. So in order to find out my 30% off, I need to deduct my $4 coupon and my $4 CRT. That drops us down to $17.98. Then I'm gonna take $17.98 times 0.30 for the 30% CRT. That's going to bring $5.39 off of our total. So after that $5.39 comes off and our manufacturer coupon and our CRT, we're going to pay CVS $12.59, but we're getting back a $10 extra buck. Final CVS cost is $2.59, but guess what? We're also getting back $2 on Ibotta for each body wash. So we're getting back $4 on Ibotta. That's going to make these about a $1.50 profit. L'Oreal Cosmetics this week are spend 20, get back a $10 extra buck. So here's what we're going to do. I've got a lot of L'Oreal Cosmetics CRTs. One of those is a $3 off $10 L'Oreal Age Perfect Cosmetics CRT. If you guys didn't know, not all the L'Oreal items are Age Perfect Cosmetics. The ones that are say Age Perfect on them. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is grab one of these lipsticks up here. It's $11.29. Uh, this is what it looks like, the gold and white one. And then I also have a $3 L'Oreal Cosmetics Rogue Lipstick CRT. And those Rogue Lipsticks, those are these babies. How do I know? Because I just scanned all the lipsticks in the entire L'Oreal section, okay? So I'm going to grab one of these. They are $12.99. And I've got that $3 CRT for those. So I've got these two items right here. Before any coupons or CRTs, we're at $24.28. I'm gonna use two manufacturer coupons. Now these two are printable coupons from inboxdollars.com. If you guys aren't using them yet, you need to be because they're paying you when you print your coupons and paying you when you use your coupons at the store. It's all the same coupons that you would get from coupons.com except you get paid to print and paid to use. You guys can always sign up for that in the description box below. Also, there's a link on the Google Doc. So these um, coupons are actually for Age Perfect Cosmetics, but I will tell you, I do know that it works on this item, which is not an Age Perfect item, but it does work on this item. Now, does it work on any of the other non-Age Perfect items? I don't know, but I know it works for this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and use two of these $2 manufacturer coupons, printables. I think we have some coupons from the 5-1 save, but I don't get L'Oreal coupons in my newspaper here. And then I have a $1 in-app L'Oreal Cosmetics CRT. So after those coupons and CRTs, I'm gonna owe $13.28, but since these items are not a sale price, this would be another great option to use that 30% off non-sale CRT. So we're gonna take our coupons and our CRTs off of our total. Like I said, that brings us to $13.28. We're gonna take $13.28 times 0 0.30, taking off 30%, which is giving us $3.98 off as well. So we're gonna end up paying CVS $9.30, getting back a $10 extra buck. These are a 70 cent CVS profit. But check your Fetch Rewards Discovery page because I'm going to be getting back 2,000 Fetch Rewards points for each one of these. I have a bonus point offer on Fetch Rewards for L'Oreal Lip and um, Eye Cosmetics. It's a three limit redemption. So I'll be able to get a total of 4,000 points back for these, which is $4. So altogether, these are a $4.70 profit. Maybelline Cosmetics this week are buy two, get back a $5 extra buck. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a couple of these cheapy eyeliner over here so they're $7.29 each this is what they look like brings us to $14.58 I'm gonna go ahead and use a $3 Maybelline Cosmetics CRT also a $2 manufacturer printable coupon it looks like this again from inbox dollars and we have a $2 digital so I'm gonna use one printable and one digital one for each item I think we do have insert coupons but again we don't get those here
And I'm also gonna be using a $1 Maybelline Cosmetics in app CRT. So after those coupons and CRTs, our total drops down to $6.58. But again, these items are not on sale. So I'm gonna stack these in with that 30% off next purchase non-sale item CRT. And that's going to bring another $1.97 off. So we're going to end up paying CVS $4.60, getting our $5 extra buck. These are a 40 cent moneymaker for CVS. However, I'm also going to be getting back a dollar on Ibotta for each one of these. Now watch that Ibotta offer because it expires, I think, $5.9. Um, so keep an eye on that. I'll be getting back a total of $2 for these on Ibotta, plus getting back a total of $1.50, which is $1,500 fetch rewards points so the fetch rewards offer says spend 10 and get 1500 fetch points um and we're over 10 but you guys know how fetch is now regarding coupons and the price of the item after coupons so we're gonna have to actually wait and see on that i'm not a hundred percent sure i'm gonna get back the 1500 points because after coupons we're not at 10 bucks and there's no way to adjust the receipt anymore like we were able to so we're going to keep our fingers crossed. We're going to get back that $1.50. But if we don't, this is still going to be a $2.40 moneymaker. If we do get those fetch points back, this is almost a $4 profit. Select a Shake, Skintimate, and Bulldog products are spent $25 this week. Get back a $10 extra buck. We're going to create a really great moneymaker with these. So I'm going to be a little bit sassy. So I want to spend as little as possible. So that being said, I'm gonna grab two of the Skintimate disposable razors. And instead of getting two that are $10.99, I'm going to get one of them that's $9.99. And then the second one will be $10.99. That's not close enough to 25 to get our extra bucks back. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw in a Skintimate shade gel, also for $3.89. So these three products bring us to $24.87. We've reached the 98% rule for the $25 mark. Had I grabbed two of the $10.99 razor pack, we would have been an extra dollar over that. And why do that when you don't have to, you know what I mean? So we're grabbing these items right here. I'm gonna use two $4 manufacturer coupons. These are from the recent smart source, I think 5-1 smart source. And then I've got a $1 digital coupon for the skin to mitt shave cream. And then also I have a $5 off $20 shave CRT. And I have a $4 off two skin to mitt disposable razor CRT. So we're gonna be down at that point to $6.87. But mind you, these items are also not on sale. So I'm gonna be pairing this in with my 30% off next to purchase non-sale item CRT as well. That will take an additional $2.06 off. So we're gonna pay CVS $4.80, but we're getting back a $10 extra buck. Um, so these are gonna be a really hot over $5 profit. So here's what we have paired in for this transaction. None of these items are priced on sale. So we're gonna pair all these together and we're gonna be using that 30% off next purchase CRT. Um, if I calculated correctly after coupons, CRTs, and that 30% off, we're gonna owe CBS $31 and a little bit of change for this. We cannot use extra bucks to pay. If we do, that 30% off CRT, the more extra bucks you apply is going to get less and less and less. So I'm gonna be throwing on here um, a couple of Flu's CVS gift cards. That's how I'm going to pay my out of pocket. Now, what are we getting back? We're getting back 10 for our Skintimate over here. We're getting back 10 for our Nivea. Remember, we're getting back 10 for L'Oreal, 5 for Maybelline, plus all the fetch points we're getting back, all the um, Ibotta offers we're getting back. So this should be a really hot, profitable transaction. Okay, everybody. So our transaction, it went so well. I do want to let you guys know that even though this was tagged $9.99, it rang up $10.99. So all that calculating I did, trying to save myself a little dollar, uh-uh, baby. Nope. Waste of time. Okay. But that's okay. Um, So I was right on the money, y'all. Look. Look how much I paid before tax. $31.99. I was right on the money. So I went to open my Flu's app. I was going to pay with Flu's gift cards. And the Flu's app, just the screen went completely blank, white. I'm like, what the heck? So I couldn't navigate the app to open up um, my gift cards to be able to use them. So I'm like, forget it. I'll use a Fetch gift card. So I opened up Fetch and I went to redeem my $25 Fetch um, CVS gift card. And I'm like, doo-doo-doo, -do -do. it took forever, you guys. It took forever to email me the gift card confirmation. I had my cashier up here. He was just standing around waiting. I'm like, you know what? Let me just pay in cash. It hurt me, baby. That hurt my little pocket. 
pockets. <laughs> but the second I paid for it, guess what popped in there? Fetch gift card email. So annoying. But that's okay. Um, so 32 is what we paid total out of pocket. Six dollars back on Ibotta. Four dollars total for our Nivea. Two dollars total for our Maybelline eyeliner. And we got back thirty-two dollars total worth of extra bucks. But let me tell y'all about the fetch rewards, baby. Guess how many fetch points I got back for that L'Oreal and the Maybelline deal? I should have got back fifty five hundred fetch points, which is five dollars and fifty cents. Y'all, they gave me 138 fetch points. That's like 13 cents. Fetch is playing games, you guys. I'm sick. I'm literally almost sick of Fetch Rewards. Like, how do you have... Why do you have to make this so difficult? Why? Look how much I paid out of pocket. You mean to tell me you couldn't give me my points? I paid that in cash. Out of pocket. $32. When Fetch Rewards says spend $10 and get 2,000 points, baby, they mean spend $10 after coupons, extra bucks, CRTs, your mama's quarters, whatever, whatever. Okay? They're not playing around. Um, so I'm not really a fan of Fetch Rewards um, at this point in time. But anyway, we still made it a huge moneymaker for this receipt. Select a Dove, Axe, Degree, Schmitz, and Suave Deodorants. Buy one, get one half off. And when we buy three, we're going to get back a $5 extra buck. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the Axe Sprays. Again, buy one, get one half. So my store, they're priced $6.29. So I'm going to get four of these. So we're going to grab four Axe Sprays today at $6.29. Buy one, get one half. Buy one, get one half. The total for these before coupons and CRTs is going to be $18.87. And I'm going to be using two of these buy one, get one free expired um, Axe dry spray and stick deodorant manufacturer coupons they expired 423 we do have new ones in the 5-1 unilever but i don't have any unilever inserts you guys i searched and searched and searched for coupon inserts in orlando i went to probably 12 gas stations half the papers didn't have any coupon inserts in there and the other half was like had one sleeve and they were missing the rest it was a mess so I don't have any 5-1 Unilever inserts. If you guys want to mail me a couple to my P.O. box, please, please, please. I'd love you forever. So I'm going to go ahead and use these because I don't have any other choice. Um, so these are buy one, get one free up to $6.75. They're probably, though, going to take off um, $6.29, which is the full price of these. So that's what I'm going to be banking on. I'm going to be using a 3 off 15 deodorant CRT and two of these coupons, assuming they're going to take off $6.29 for each one of these. That brings us down to paying $3 and some change, getting back a $5 extra buck. These are over a dollar profit here at CVS. However, I'm also going to be getting back a dollar on Ibotta for each one of these. So we're getting back four bucks for these. So these are going to be over a $5 profit and we're going to be getting back extra fetch points. And then I'm feeling so good tonight. I'm going to go ahead and repeat this exact same deal on a second CVS account. Same CRT, same coupons. The only thing I'm not 100% sure about is, is that Ibotta offer going to reset for me after I scan this first receipt? I'm not 100% sure, but even if it doesn't, these are still a moneymaker. So why not grab them? Axe sprays on one of my cards. $6.29 was the buy one, get one free manufacturer coupons that he took off, the 3 off 15 CRT. I paid $3 out of pocket. I got back a $5 extra buck. Plus, I got back $4 on Ibotta, a dollar for each one, y'all. A $5.70 moneymaker plus the fetch rewards point. Here is my receipt for the Axe again. This account, it wasn't a 3 off 15 Axe CRT, it was a $4 off $10 Axe deodorant CRT. So after CRT and both my buy one, get one free coupon, I went ahead and paid $2.20 out of pocket. Got back five, so a $2.75 profit for CVS. Plus, I'm hoping that Ibotta offer will reset and I'll get another $4 back, but we'll have to kind of wait and see on that. I think it will, but we'll see. So if we get the $4 back on Ibotta later this week, we've got a $6.75 profit. And I also submitted this receipt to Fetch Reward. I'm going to go ahead and grab the Soft Soap and Irish Spring deal. So Soft Soap and Irish Spring, they're $4.99. Buy two, get back a $4 extra buck. Um, and this deal's actually a limit of three per CVS account. So I'm going to max this deal out and I'm going to grab six of these. So instead of getting back the $4 extra buck, I'm maxing it out. It's a limit of three. I'll go ahead and get back 
$12 an extra buck. So before coupons, we're at $29.94. We're going to stack on here the four off 25 body wash CRT. Then I'm going to be using six $1 coupons. So all of these coupons came from the 424 Smart Source. I'm going to use two of the $1 coupons for the bar soap and then four of the $1 coupons for the body washes. So after a total of $10 in coupons and CRTs, we're going to go ahead and pay CVS $19.94. We're getting back though $12 in extra bucks. So final costs for all six items is going to be eight dollars or about a dollar 32 each not a bad price um and plus we're going to be grabbing some money makers tonight so that's going to eat up the cost that we're going to be spending on these anyway so i have several hallmark cards crts i've got three of them and i can stack and use them all together if you need help stacking crts go back and watch the um all about crts couponing tips and tricks video so I'm going to go ahead and grab a Mother's Day card for one of my items. To use all of these CRTs at the same time, I need to grab three Hallmark items. Remember, these Hallmark cards CRTs work on any Hallmark items that I know of in the store. Even if it says price $2.99 or more, that's a lie. You don't have to get any price $2.99 or more. So I found this card right here for mother's day it says from your dog and even though my mom has a dog what i'm gonna do i'm gonna write on black magic marker from your grand dog <laughs> i'm gonna give this to my mom for mother's day from her grand dogs okay so it's 459 so this is one hallmark item and then i'm gonna grab two other cheapy items so let's run over here and I'm gonna grab two of the bows that are $1.29 each. So we'll grab two of these, my card's $4.59, these are both $1.29. The total for these three items is $7.17, but I've got $6 worth of CRTs coming off. So I'm gonna pay just a buck 17 for all three items. That's a great price because I have a Mother's Day card in here from the Grand Dog, so this is a good deal. I've got two $2 off Dove hand wash CRT. So I'm gonna make a simple deal right here. I'm gonna just pick up one of these Dove hand washes for $4.59. Those two $2 CRTs will come off. I'll pay 59 cents total. Also check your Fetch Rewards discovery page because I have a 750 point Fetch offer when I buy Dove hand wash. Um, and it's not requiring that I spend a certain amount to get those points. So I will be getting back 75 cents on Fetch Rewards for this, which is gonna make this a freebie plus a small money maker. Here is our soft soap deal, and I went ahead and threw in the Hallmark deal with this as well, just to save a little bit of time. I do wanna let you guys know that these Irish Spring Bar Soap coupons are not scanning. Um, so we usually do have an issue with these coupons. I don't know why they never wanna scan, I don't know. So I went ahead and put the bar soaps back and I ended up with just six soft soap body wash and I had to use six of the $1 soft soap or Irish Spring coupons. That was the only option that I had because these were not scanning. Other than that, our receipt is perfect. So you guys can see all of that right here. I used $20 in extra bucks to pay um, and I paid a dollar on my Fetch gift card. So 21 out of pocket we got back though $12 in extra bucks for the soft soap deal so a total of $9 for everything right here that includes the cards and the ribbon I don't think that's a bad price then over here I went ahead and snagged the Dove hand soap like I mentioned those two CRTs stacked and worked just fine together paid 59 cents got back extra fetch points for our Dove let's work on our spend $40 on select products and getting back a $10 extra buck deal so I'm gonna utilize this deal trying to stack up on some gain. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm gonna grab four of the gain flings, the 16 count. I'm gonna go ahead and grab four of the Island Fresh and there's a reason for this and I'm gonna tell you here in a second. Four of those and then I'm gonna go ahead and grab one of the big boy gains down here for $12.99 and then one Tide Pods for $5.49. So this is what we're looking like. All of these items are $5.49, except the big gain over here is $12.99. Adding all that up, we're at $40.44. So we've reached 40 bucks barely, perfect. I have a $5 off $40 Tide Bounce Gain Downy CRT. That's gonna come off of here. I'm gonna use 
these expired coupons but because i don't have any other choice these are the only ones that i have you guys don't have to use these though you guys can use the newest coupons out i just don't have any except for the tide pods so i believe the newest coupon for the may png is a one dollar coupon yuck um correct me if i'm wrong ride this out until i can't use them anymore because i want to save an extra buck so i'm using one two dollar coupon for the tide pods that's from the april png then i have a three dollar coupon now this one is not expired this is the only one out of the bunch that's not expired this one expires 514 um so i'm gonna go ahead and use this this is what it looks like this is gonna work for the big gain aroma boost original then i grab the island fresh because i know um the two dollar gain coupons work on the island fresh scents and also if i wanted to i could use this three dollar coupon on these island fresh scents these three dollar and two dollar coupons do scan for the island fresh scents if you guys don't feel comfortable doing this you don't have to we do have one dollar gain coupons that you can use on these gain items if you would rather do that so for the coupons that i'm using in the 5040 crt i'm gonna pay 22.44 yuck but we're getting back a ten dollar extra buck final cost is going to be 12.44 for all six items coupons scanned perfectly i will tell you you might want to scan item coupon item coupon if you're not familiar with how to do that go back and watch the tips and tricks video all about checking out at cbs and i show you guys on camera how to get that done um so i did that just because a lot of times png coupons they attach to the wrong items then when you get down to like your last item your coupon won't scan because there's already a coupon that's attached to the wrong item further up in the transaction so i did that just as a precaution so we paid 22.44 out of pocket got back our 10 dollars extra buck final cost for all of our png items right here is 12.44 considering what's going on with prices now and everything i don't think 12.44 is bad for everything up here so there is a deal that I saw on Instagram. Thank you so much to Couponing with Manita for letting us know about this. So select Kleenex boxes this week are part of the Spin 40, get a $10 extra buck deal, and they're on sale two for $4. So Couponing with Manita on Instagram put up a post and said that these You Buy Kotex coupons that are expired as of 423, they do work on these Kleenexes. Um, now you can use the pads or the tampons, it doesn't matter. She also mentioned that the $2 Poise coupons, the newest ones that are not expired, work on Kleenexes as well. So I know this isn't gonna be a deal that everyone is gonna wanna do and I totally understand. In all honesty, I used to be a huge stickler when it came to coupons and coupon limits and all that stuff, a uh, huge stickler. And then I decided like, who am I to tell someone else how to use their own coupon? I'm gonna test it out for you guys over here at self-checkout. Um, if you guys wanna use a cashier, you can, or you can use self-checkout. So I scanned my Kleenexes Insert coupon and I scanned my coupon. It scanned it just fine. I'm gonna slide it in there. You see the $4 coming off. So here is my receipt for our four Kleenex boxes. Once I scanned two of these $4 off two coupons and I hit finish and pay like I needed to pay, it voided both of them off, but that was okay. I just went back on the machine and I scanned two more of these. And then when I hit finish and pay again, it totaled me out like it was supposed to in the first place. Now it's kind of weird because when you look at the receipt, it says four $4 coupons came off, which I did scan for $4 coupons because the two were originally voided by the machine. But there's no way it could have taken off this much money because look, we didn't even know that much. They're two for four. So we only grabbed $8 worth, which means if we use $16 in coupons, we'd be negative $8, which is kind of weird that it did that, but that's okay. So if you guys wanna try this out, you can. Um, I grabbed these and then I also grabbed these um as well so whatever ones you want to get if this is something that you're wanting to do and then also you can see down here that i had eight dollars worth of kleenexes on this account tracking towards the spend 40 get a ten dollar extra buck deal we have a money maker haul everybody does this look small this kind of looks like a small haul typically from what we've been doing the last um, couple of months. But I'm just not getting back to the swing of things, um, being out of town and coming back and staying up all night and all that. So we did really good though. I think we did really well. Let me show you the couponing breakdown worksheet. Of course, you guys know me. I never have time to fill it all the way out before I have to leave the store because I'm super slow inside CVS. 
but let's talk about it if you guys want to order this it is on the etsy shop um you can also order this pair it in with some other couponing documents in the um, bundle package or if you just want to grab this by itself that'll work too um you can print it you can use it in adobe programs um you can write on it by hand you can use it on good notes on your apple device with your apple pencil so how much did we get back on ibotta 14. this is kind of a question mark because i don't know if that um axe offer is going to reset but we got our fingers crossed that it will so 14 on ibotta fetch rewards 6800 total points um i think they're going to go ahead and process that five dollars and fifty cents um, because i've never submitted a ticket for anything usually the first time you submit something they go and give you the points so we're going to assume they did that plus the other fetch points that i got from my other items six dollars and eighty cents coming back on fetch coupons.com you guys know me i scanned all these items on coupons.com only two offers but i'm going to go ahead and submit for those but y'all know if you use coupons on the items technically you're not supposed to submit and you're not supposed to get the money back but a lot of times it does slide through and two dollars coming back hopefully for the maybelline but that's kind of get iffy we don't know if we're going to get it or not and then two dollars back for the l'oreal age perfect lipstick so question mark on the coupons.com and then PG Everyday points. We're getting back 350 points for each one of our PNG items. So those are the items up at the top. My total was $17.75. Um, rebate money coming back $20.80 to $24.80, depending on whether we get this $4 on coupons.com. Um, so final, we've got a $3 to $7 profit, you guys. I got some laundry stuff. We got those larger Nivea items. We have lots of soft soap. We just got a lot of great stuff. So 3 to $7 profit, I'll take it. You guys let me know in the comments what you plan to grab at CVS this week. Hit that like button for me, please, on your way out, and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.